So it far exceeds the nature of it being endothermic. And if that happens, you will still have a spontaneous reaction. So we discussed what a spontaneous reaction that happens, non-spontaneous reactions don't happen. And there are two factors that will push a reaction to go forward. And one of them is entropy, the other one is heat. If you have both exothermic reactions and increasing entropy going into more chaos, you'll have spontaneous reactions. So if you have both of those, you'll have a spontaneous reaction. So what, what creates a spontaneous reaction? What makes a reaction go forward? There's the three things right here. Number one, the first factor is when you have exothermic and when you increase your entropy. Second scenario, you could have a decrease in entropy, meaning you're producing stable um, molecules with more, more structure, but they have to be highly exothermic. This has to exceed this. So if you have your exothermic nature of the reaction that exceeds the decrease in entropy, your reaction will still be spontaneous. And the third and last, what's going to make it spontaneous? You can have endothermic reactions being spontaneous, like the melting of ice. You just need to have the entropy being produced must be much, much higher. So the increased entropy and instability and chaos and disorder must exceed the endothermic nature. So the increase in entropy must be greater than the endothermic nature of the chemical reaction.